This is Twit. PS4 and Huma debate. So, uh, Huma, Huma, H U M A, uh, yep. is the. So, so the idea is AMD's uh, Huma memory architecture uh, essentially pools uh, graphics memory, main system memory, uh, which is. So 1999, I can't even bear it. Uh, but the heterogeneous unified memory architecture. Uh, and the argument is whether or not the PlayStation 4 is actually AMD Huma uh, or not. Or or if it will actually utilize AMD Huma with the Kabini-based system on a chip. Uh, Ryan, you wrote this up, so I'm going to stop speaking now and let you get vicious well, on the details. The the uh the, the story was yesterday somebody published that they were at Gamescom, which is going on in, in Germany right now, and they said, uh, we talked to an AMD rep, and he said that, as it turns out, the PS4 is going to be quite a bit faster than the Xbox One because it has support for Huma memory, which is heterogeneous unified memory architecture. And what's, what's interesting about Huma is... <laughs> That not that it has a pooled. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> I'm trying to debate how I want to pronounce it. Huma, Huma. I like Huma. Huma. Yeah, uh, it's not a. It's not just pooled memory. It's the fact that it can be separate memory, but the the processor can access and read memory on the GPU side of things without um, and change things without having to go through a bunch of different protocols and vice versa, GPU can access CPU memory. And it's kind of like the step before full HSA compliance where they actually completely share the same memory address space. And uh, there, there's been a lot of confusion about which platforms are going to support which because they are custom designs. They are all, the, both the Xbox One and PS4 are using AMD APUs kind of based around the Kabini design. They're using Jaguar cores, GCN-based right. architectures. But they obviously, as we've talked about, they use different memory systems. One uses a GDDR3 memory system. One uses a GDDR5. One has uh, like a, a local cache and one does mm -hmm. not. And so the idea that the, that the PS4 would be faster because it has support for Huma would, was, was kind of interesting. Right. And so I emailed people at AMD. I said, so is this true? And they came back with, <laughs> Uh, one of those PR responses that you, that you that you get sometimes. Our spokesperson made inaccurate statements about our semi-custom APU architectures and does not speak for Microsoft, Sony, or the AMD semi-custom business unit responsible for co-developing the next generation console APUs. So now let me translate for a moment. This often means somebody told you something honest and useful, but we want to deny it. Or it could mean <laughs> somebody right. thought they understood it, but they didn't. Or what else could it mean? Or does that's, it really I matter? I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, right? right? So it's, it's either, uh, damn, you weren't supposed to find out about that, <laughs> and now a lot of people are going to be pissed at us, so let's deny it. Or nah, that's right. not right, but we can't tell you what is right. So you just have to say that it's inaccurate. And and when I talked to them two or three <laughs> times today, I thought, how about you just tell me something that will clear up the confusion because that's what's going back and forth now is which right. which story does that tell? You know, my initial take on the discussion I had, the email exchange I had was that, oh, no, it's incorrect. PS4 doesn't use a heterogeneous unified memory architecture. Uh, but then more and more people were talking about, hey, uh, Mark Cerny from Sony and, and these guys during the announcement talked about unified memory architectures. And I was like, okay, well, maybe they're using a not an AMD built heterogeneous unified memory architecture, but they're using something that they custom built themselves because it is a semi custom APU. It's not exactly an off the shelf AMD part. And then there was yeah. talk of, hey, there's these Microsoft developers saying that their development code books say that they have access to heterogeneous memory as well. Um, so maybe they both have it. And what was incorrect was that the PlayStation 4 would have an advantage because of it. So um, still I, no firm answer. But I'm kind of with you with your first hypothesis was that chances are somebody told somebody the truth <laughs> on accident when they didn't mean to or when right. they shouldn't have, you know, and their boss didn't say, hey, make sure you don't tell anybody this, but, and uh, now they're trying to do damage calls. control. Because well, I mean, there are billions of dollars on the line with these two customers and they don't want right. to piss anybody off. 